Hey there, Silk Tone Devil here, and whilst these dudes are duking it out, we're going to be looking at Dragon Fist VR Kung Fu. We've covered this game a few times on the channel. This is probably the best, if not the only, proper VR martial arts simulating game that we have within the VR space. This game's been out for a very long time. For those of you who picked it up when it was in the App Store, it has had a lot of love. It had a lot of love and a lot of attention then, but it's had even more now. Character models have been upgraded, backgrounds have been upgraded, foregrounds, scenery, everything's just gotten up. And you'll see that we now have multiplayer as well. We may, depending on how things go, have a look at that later on tonight. For now, we're going to do some single player. Now, I've covered the tutorial plenty of times on this. And I've been through the tra tra training chambers and I've been through the practice room. So, I figure I will show you guys, or I'll ease myself in, rather, by carrying on my safe profile that I have on Master. I've only just started, so... <clears throat> so... Alright, let me turn you guys back on so I can hear you. There we go. And hello and welcome to anyone who joined in whilst I was doing the old intro. So, single player experience. There's more to it than this. There's actually quite a lot more to it than this, but this is the main menu side of things. The way that... Oh, I actually haven't done anything yet. So, the way that you play through the game, you pick your level, you select your fighter, the more stars you get unlocks additional fights. Now, I've because I've got a profile that's completed, I can now do anything. However, I still need a certain amount of stars before we can go on to things. So, we'll start off nice and easy. So, in the master mode side of things, enemies move a little bit faster. They are going to do a little bit more damage. They're going to have some slightly different combos. I'm not going to have a HUD. So, normally you would have your health bar here and you would have your special bar here. A couple of things about this game. Blocking is how you generate your special attack. We have a Fatal Flying Guillotine, which, because I can't see when I've got it ready or not, may get used tonight or it may not blocking in this is more of a way of an intercepting fist than an actual straight up block this kind of works in regards to the fact oh cheers sticks see you later this kind of works like your x block or or what have you but you are better off trying to actually intercept strikes because then you've definitely hit them, it registers as a block, and then more often than not, it doesn't register as a hit on you. Let's get a, let's get a quick bit of training going. And of course, we have all the bits and pieces that you would expect in a martial arts dojo. Various difficulties of oh, marble. Too weak. Ah, oh, my feet. Too weak. Right. That's done. Another top tip as well, you can run faster by motioning your arms. I am very happy. Hello, more. I am very happy about the fact that he included the chop socky noise whilst you are doing this. Because it then it just makes just makes my running in martial arts feel more martial artsy. So the objective here is for me to oh hang on who said that uh, oh hello uh, right okay nice one Vaughn. you can be my al we haven't seen al for ages he's the one who usually uh gives me the large as far as the uh the big tv setting side of things but thank you Vaughn. that's nice to know so by striking this we'll start the fight we can gain various stars out of the fight just by staying alive and not using any of our lives whilst taking all three of this dudes we will basically so basically we're going to be trying to three star every character first time because it just makes things a little bit easier if only it did but then that's why you need to spend more time in vr norb more more time in vr oh two seconds Let's see if that worked. There we are. 
Okie dokes. So we're going to fight this guy. Hopefully get the three stars. Not take any... Well, it's not that we can't take any damage. I don't know if I will we win. just can't have any downs. I won't lose. So all the usual sort of stuff. We've got the ability to dash. We've got the ability to kick. We've obviously got the ability to manipulate our arms as well. There are special moves. We can also jump. There are some other special moves that we can do as well. But I'll be on to those in a little bit. For now, let's see what we can do against this guy. Now, one of the things that Ben has recently done is he's taken something that I thought was quite powerful out of the game, which is double striking. So, try and demonstrate. Ow. Instead, I got punched in the solar plexus. Oh. Ha! Ah, interesting technique. Mine's not ready. Now you'll see what I'm doing a lot of is staying off of my opponent's centre line. A lot of the enemies are designed to attack in a forward motion. So if you sidestep them a lot, Oh, it I doesn't feel restraint. Hey. <laughs> Masters for real, isn't it? <clears throat> that guy took loads of damage. You get little slow time effects when you're playing. Let's try and not finish him off too quick. Oh, that was a bad move, sir. Bad move. As you can tell by the fact that even I am silenced. I wish you would. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. That's not the start we were after. <clears throat> so that means that we've had a down, which is a, I suppose, a good demonstration. He was almost down, which means he's done us quite a lot of damage. Well, you say that, weebs. I think he's just caught me with that special move. Yeah, right. damage are you going to take? So, yeah, it is. <laughs> well, I am, but this isn't good. Stamina mode unlocked. I'll show you it, don't worry. Well, maybe I'll show it off in multiplayer or I'll get you guys in to show you how to play it. <clears throat> <sighs> there with because I think no we're fine on that
<clears throat> We're fine on that. I think Master might be a little bit beyond me at the moment because of a choice setting. <clears throat> at least you can hit people. At least you can hit people with it. Mm. At least you can hit people with it, Norb. So. Uh, it would appear that I have been cheating this game quite a lot because that took a long time to take him down. That was more like the, the stamina mode that's actually in this game. So, we're going to put the double hit nerf off because I've now tested it. Because, <laughs> let's face it, we want to see these guys go down fast, right? Maybe I will drop it down to hard, though. <laughs> right. Try that one again, shall we? So, as I said, this one can be a really good, a really good workout. Right. Yeah, belly full of dinner, not rage. <laughs> so, unfortunately, we only managed a two-star on that one because that, took about, that felt like it took about 20 minutes longer than it normally would. Let's try something different now, now that I've got my double strike ability back. See how we get on. We'll go to what I think is arguably one of the best levels, which is this awesome tea house. With combined with ability to smash the place up. One of the things that we found out last stream is that he's gone to the trouble of... So if anybody played the old version of this, it looked drab and dingy and there was nothing up on the second level. Now it looks proper. You also have the ability to destroy these guardrails and then you can obviously jump down and do things with it or hit your opponent off. Getting your opponent up there is difficult at best. So... We won't try that tonight, I don't think. So, again, same sort of affair. Let's try a nice, easy fight to begin with. Nope. You. You're crazy. <sighs> right. So, let's... Now I have my unnerfed double strike back. Let's uh, see how we get on. Oh dear. Maybe I should have taken it off of Master. See, this is more like the level of uh, chicanery that I'm used to. One of the things that you may not be able to see is a lot of the time when I'm hitting the face, I'm also putting an additional strike in as well, be it going for a kidney punch or a palm to the solar plexus. But that has been nerfed which is part of the reason why I'm finding it a little harder going than I would normally. I mean, we are playing it in Master, so... Plus, first game doesn't count warm-up concept establishing. Get that snake fist away from me. So this is his special move. If you give it time to wear off, then you don't really have to deal with it. Is that enough? Yeah, this is my special move. This is a fatal flying guillotine. Well, not quite as fatal and flying as the movies, but it still does a good job. Didn't work out so well for him. Now, one thing that I will say is a turn. quick drink from the bar, although I can't see my life bar. Hello, Buck. A quick drink from the bar. She'll uh, give me my life back, but although I can't see my life bar in this mode. Oh, he's dead already. <laughs> 
that's more like the speed that I'm used to. God, playing it without the double strike. There is a stamina mode within this game, which basically doubles all bars so that fights take about as long as that first one took. I mean, I'm reasonably fit, but even I don't think I can keep that pace up all night. <clears throat> he says. So... Let's get some more stars done. We'll go back. So this is the importance of trying to beat them without taking a down. Your life does carry from one opponent to the other. It's one of the things that I will say is, until he nerfed the double strike. <laughs> but I'll learn to play both ways, but I'll play without the double strike thing in my own time, I think. So this is another cool feature about the game as well. Fighting multiple opponents. Now, I am on a little bit of a win streak in regards to fighting real-life multiple opponents. Hence why K2 saying, yes, that's right, Rob, wear yourself out. Because um, I'm assuming she's hoping for a game at some point. One of the things that I do want to make sure happens is that the people that are trying to beat me on this 3v1 thing do win through a little bit of tutelage. One of the... <laughs> You should be able to see what I'm doing against these guys, but it's all about making it into a series of 1v1s as opposed to fighting them all together. Although fighting them all together does look cool. And you do that by just make it get, making space from them and making sure that they're getting in front of each other. And also by moving around them, you can do that as well. Various punches that you'll see me do or various hits that you'll see me do will do a certain amount of damage, put the game into slow time and send people flying back, then you can pursue them and make things 1v1s. You are about to but see the this is an insanely cool feature that you can have multiple opponents fighting against you. So with these guys, instead of the usual three downs and out, each ninja just has one life. So you got this guy up here as well. He's kind of like the... I suppose Shang Tsung, aren't you? You kind of like Shang Tsung. Secret technique time? Yeah. Ha ha! <laughs> Gonna try and stay near the uh, fire as well because uh, these ninjas are all black, which makes them really hard to see in the dark. Who would have thought? Although those red headbands are quite a giveaway. Depending on your character's special move, it can be beneficial to try and do lots and lots of blocking. However, that can be, against multiple opponents, a good way to get yourself killed. Got it yet? No. Come on, get in the light. I need to show the game off. Can't be going fighting in the dark. <laughs> right. I think we'll... Uh-oh. No ninja stars for you. Oh. So well placed to punch, it landed gently on his chin. Right? You also get this little celebratory screen, if you so want it at the end as well. <clears throat> God, I'm gonna have to open a window. It's actually warm for a change. This game is best played whilst cold, I think. Or at least it was for me. There we go. Right. <clears throat> so, I'm exhausted. <laughs> and you guys have seen a little bit of the game now. Let's uh, let's give a key away, shall we? So this is this is your time. This is the opportunity. So pop a martial arts uniform in the chat if you want to win a copy of the game. So once all the I'll, I'll call a stop to it, and then Von will um, do whatever she does, computer sciencey wise, and pick us a winner. If you already have the game, feel free to join in. Uh, Put a different symbol in, I guess. Gives me an idea of who's got the game already and who hasn't. <sighs> mm. 
Right, Vega, I'm good. You've, I'm glad you've got them back. Right. So, yeah, get those, uh, get those martial arts uniforms in the chat if you would like to win a copy of the game. And if we have time when we've done all of this later on, we could even ha get the people who win into the multiplayer with me to have a little game later, maybe. Uh, Scatman, if you put... I know you have to have a go. So, if you put karate uniform, or martial arts uniform, or various bits and pieces like that in the emoji search bar, that should find it for you. So... <clears throat> oh, right. That was a good... <laughs> Motorized wheelchair, nice one. Right. Where next? So we've had a look. I suppose we'll just... We'll just carry on the levels. So in that case then, you have until... I have defeated... The Brothers. Les Brothers Grimm. Couple of cool things about this level. Why would you be able to play the drums? Why? But you can. Hi, Sarah. We're just in the middle of a giveaway if you want to jump the martial arts uh, emoji in the chat. If you, I don't think you've got this one. <clears throat> so, you have until I... Bef well, I thought they were brothers, but they're apparently they're just soldiers that look identical. Must be part of the uniform to look like this. So, you have until I defeat these two guys. I mean, if they beat me, then we'll just have to cancel the giveaway. Ha! <laughs> you really are shameless. I know, right? Attacking the Imperial Army. Oh, I thought you were talking about me not giving away the keys after promising that I was going to give away the keys. That would be shameless. As would this. Huh? Are you not impressed? I'm just buying you guys time to get the emoji thing in. Well, it's not playing the rhythm that I wanted it to, but I'm sure they are very intimidated. So, one of the things that is, I think, insanely cool, you do have to turn it on to get the proper effect from it. You are able to elbow in this game. with actually quite satisfying and great effect. And it's one of the only games that I know that you can actually do that. Now, it does have its level of charm. <laughs> oh, more. Oh dear, you've had an accident. You're next. Here's a little trick that will be on the short soon. When you are fighting a 2v1, once you've downed both opponents, or just one, if you were to stand on one of them far enough away that the other one can get up, he has to stay on the floor. You can then make a 2v1 into a 1v1 for a little while. I'm not getting off of him until you come here. Cheesy? Yeah. Useful? Definitely. And if I continue to fight from his corpse, he won't be able to get up and use his other life. Now, I've used both of his lives, which then makes what can be quite a difficult 2v1 into a 1v1. How you getting on without your friend? Huh? Any, uh... Gonna do anything? Huh? Huh? Gonna, gonna do anything? I'll play along. I'm trying to buy time for chat. Huh. Okay, that's enough of that. Do we have one? Yes, we have one. Watch the birdie. 
It's behind you. It's behind you. It's behind you. And giveaway over. Oh, come on, Sarah. I'm sure you'd love this one. So, as well as having a multiplayer... So, yeah. Oh, you can proper, proper give them a slap in whilst they're down in this. So, whilst... Um, yeah, Vaughn, if you want to end it there and pick us a winner for our first of three keys... I shall just carry on. One of the other things to note about the multiplayer in this as well, it isn't just versus. Uh, not just yet more, but give it a minute. Let me get the keys given away first, and then maybe we'll see about showing off the multiplayer as well. So that'll probably be within the next hour or so. Problem is, more if it's 1v1, you can't use your ninja ways to get behind me whilst I'm busy. Because I won't be busy. Hey, well done, Buck. So, let's travel to the Wing Chun School. Now, Buck, I know you do like an online game. If you were to get this one downloaded and get yourself a little familiar with the multiplayer just quick, well, maybe you could come play me a little bit later on. Maybe you could. But yeah, nice one, Buck. Well done. Oh, thing is, though, if he comes and plays this with me, I'm going to have to go and play a certain something with him. <laughs> so, whilst we're just getting over the first two week, that was my bestest karate punch. There we go. Good day to you. Ooh. Ah, you don't need energy. You'll be fine. You're young. <laughs> ah. Silly lady wants to play with Japanese sword. Ah, but... That was impressive. Can you get me up here? I think not. So this is something that I constantly badger Ben with, the creator of this game, trying to find silly ways to do silly things within the game. Excuse me. Much to his frustration, he's always trying to stay one step ahead of me finding ways to break the levels. Oh, can't get up. Oh, might have. Uh, yeah, she has got quite the kick. I found out that I can do this the other day, so. Hi, how are we doing? Now, normally, this jump would be impossible to make. Ben's made it purposefully just far enough so that I can't jump it and make it. But I did find a super secret technique not so long ago, which allows me to get back up here. So, I'll, for those that are in the multiplayer, it'll probably be a good way for me to be able to demonstrate this. Again, through normal means, you're not supposed to be able to get up here. And yes, this is probably where I'll be doing a lot of my video. Look at the shadow in. Hmm? Uh, uh, uh. Kung Fu up here? Come join me. Let's have a rooftop fight. Oh, wait, you can't get up here. Oh, shame. So, it's by simply pressing the dash, forward and jump button all at the same time. And you are then able to hmm, launch yourself. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. <laughs> launch yourself quite quickly. Which I will demonstrate later. But you also don't use any stamina. See you later. <laughs> Bye. And you can carry on doing it. So you get the speed of a dash, but the jump of a normal. And combined, you get the dash jump of a mongoose. So, and it allows you, I mean, there are other, are other kind of practical applications for it in that you could use it to get out of the way quite quickly and put a lot of distance between your opponent. Or when your opponent thinks that they're safe, you can get in and get punched in the kidney as it happens. So, not amazingly practical, but a fun one to share with friends. Isn't that right, K2? 
Oh, kidneys, did that hurt? You're getting a bit close to that plant, love. One of the things that you can do, and I've tried not to, is you can learn their combos and their techniques, and they're purposefully choreographed so that you can see them coming. I often find that kind of doing the wax on wax off motion is enough whilst retreating to intercept fists, which is what gets you your special. Hey, seen one of these before? Ah, oh, it's just for, you know, trimming the verge and your face. Ben's made it so you can't get quite as close when you duck, but if you're careful, I can slap her the sense back into her. I can possibly slap slap the sense back into her. Come on. Nope, she's gone. She's at it. <sighs> it's okay. It's VR. It doesn't count. That's what I keep telling myself. Always the ladies' man. She is saying though, isn't she? Oh, was that a hurtful one, was it? So you can learn their strikes. For instance, you'll see that she did a double chop and then a double chop down. And that's something that she will continue to repeat. She's got her two fist moves. She likes those. But they can combine these moves with things like dashing and various bits and pieces. Occasionally she'll throw a kick as well. And it's enough. The thing is, you don't want too much. Oh, just a slap for the finish. Slap for the finish. Yes. Oh my god, my eyes have gone. There they are. <laughs> oh, my eyes have rolled back into my skull. <clears throat> It's a good little workout, this one. It really is. Don't know if you can tell or not. I'm not being quite as talkative as I will be later on. But if I really need a breather, we'll go and have a look at the spectate mode. So as I was saying, there is multiplayer and there is cooperative in this game as well. So you and up to three friends can fight each other. You can have also up to another four people watching you as well and then it can become a bit of a rotation system as some people fight and other people watch which is a great way if you're streaming to rest as it happens so if we start going on to the multiplayer sooner rather than later maybe that's why but there's also cooperative in here as well the cooperative can take a number of guises you can do 2v2s you can play through the campaign which is then a series of 2v2s Excuse me. You can also play some of the different modes within the game as well. For instance, there's one where uh, three players become zombies and the other one is the zombie fighter. And then the zombies periodically get stronger as they're downed and it's up to people to get the highest score. And then everybody changes places and someone else has a go at being the survivor and the other people being Chinese zombies. I will show you what I can do. The cooperative as well. You can go back to back with a fellow and go up against groups of ninjas. That's very cool. So again, she's got this kind of windmilling attack. A palm and a punch. I think she'll do a kick occasionally as well with a punch. And again, you can learn all of these things if you want to. But a lot of the time, if you just time your strikes... You don't need to know what they're doing. You just need to strike them before they know what you're doing. And if you approach them from the side or from the back, because you'll find... Oh, nice guy. Judo chop! you find a lot of the strikes that I try and go for are ones on the side or on the back. And the reason being is because your opponent's coming directly at you and kind of caught in their combo, they fly past you, which then opens up, as I've put in one of my shorts, opens up the possibilities of lots of nasty striking areas. 
like this. Hey, I'm demonstrating that across the back of the neck is particularly effective. The neck is one of the weak points within the game, as are kidney shots to the back as well as the bottom. Ooh, I think she just hit something that broke. Nope, it's still on. Keeping quite a far guard in front of you allows you to just move your hands to then intercept. So, although it is the closest thing that we have to a martial arts simulator, or the only thing we have to a martial arts simulator in VR, like everything in VR, you don't have to be good at the thing that it's associated with. I'm not an amazing archer, but I can play IDU to a reasonable level. I'm not an amazing martial artist by any stretch of the imagination. But there's a lot of things that you can get away with because it's VR. Like, for instance, I don't have to worry about hurting myself or getting hurt. Ooh, that was right on the chin, wasn't it? I would never attempt to strike like this. But in this game, I can. And it's particularly effective if you can hit them in the eye with it. Which I seem to be struggling with right now. That is something to note as well. Pressure points are very much covered in this game. And they're where you... So in a shooting game, you want to be going for headshots. And... Or center of mass, depending on how milsim it is. And in these sort of games, you want to be going for the pressure points. So you have eye, neck, solar plexus, kidneys, floating <laughs> floating ribs, back of the neck. The knees, if kicked or punched, will slow your opponent down. You want to be going, but you need to make sure that you hit the correct point with the right gesture. For instance, a poke, or better, a, a knife hand, as Norb was saying, to the throat is the correct strike. If you punch someone in the throat, you won't hit it because, you know, the contact area is too big and won't do the sort of damage that you want to. Whereas poking someone in the kidney in real life does hurt, but in this game it needs to be a punch to register the effect. And it's... I, I mean, I've had to turn double strike off because I'm, I'm used to being able to hit and punch with both hands a lot. Even though my background's karate and play this very Wing chun -y. But hey, you've got all of these appendages. Why not use them? As I was saying, elbows do work in the game. It's not particularly easy to pull them off, but they do work. I'll try and put more in, but it's not something that I do myself consciously. <laughs> but the fact that they are in the game already, and if you go into the settings, you can make them so that they're more pronounced. Like, that's not where my elbow is. It's quite high. But it's... It's supposed to be... It's supposed to be... So that you get the height for the head. I mean, I do remember you getting your ass handed to you in a 3v1 last time more. I remember you basically be occupying the space behind me at all times, like the brave soldier that you are. <laughs> oh, I think that hurt me more than it hurt you, didn't it? That's one thing, yeah, hand tracking is well beyond what we need. Oh, sorry. Hand tracking is nowhere what we need for, for this sort of game at the moment it's nowhere near it so the one thing that i will say is again pro pro controllers pro controllers feel a little bit more sensitive i will say that i'm finding i can get my elbows off easier with pro controllers and that's a particularly good one you reckon Oh no, not Yurakin. MP Yurakin Gakazuki. Oh, I didn't like that one, did you? Bam! Or oh, that one. Maybe I should just put him down. The one thing that I will say is the creator of this game, Ben, is very much a kung fu guy, not a karate guy. And I do find that my karate twist punches don't go work so well in this. So I do find that the, the old Wing Chun style or the 
all the, I suppose, kung fu jabs are probably better. How you doing down there? Yeah, good, he's good. Just making sure that that head slapped. It looked like it needed a slapping, it's bald as an egg. Note as well how the... I like to think it's the characters that have a shady background or evil. Instead of doing palm strikes, they do whatever this is. <laughs> uh, I'm sure it's got a, a, a cool name in Kung Fu like Rake Hand, but uh, girly nail scratches. Don't get any of that in karate. But I do appreciate the fact that this is nasty and my character is a nasty guy. In hell, he's carrying a fake flying guillotine around. For Christ's sakes. Oh, missed that kick. Nothing moves the claw. Oh, that was right on his knee. Which will now slow him down a little bit. The one thing that I will say is I don't think the pressure point attacks. Their effects, I don't feel they last long enough. Oh, he's at it. <clears throat> Ming Vase. <laughs> ha! They don't smash. Sorry, was that yours? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I broke your glasses. Do you want me to even them out for you? Let's concentrate on that left eye. <laughs> yeah, it's... I mean... You can if you have the... PCVR version. One of the benefits of the PCVR version. Hey, we evened you up. No, but I can do the five point pardon exploding heart technique. <laughs> Any reason why I always stream at eight? It seems to be a good time for the American contingent and a reasonable time for the English contingent. So I try and meet it all somewhere in the middle, I suppose. So... Mm. Oh, and I haven't mentioned as well, um, Von, usual plan for tonight, so... I think we left it about half an hour after the first key giveaway. So whenever I gave the first one, another half an hour after that, and then another half an hour after that, and then we're done. And I can have a rest. <laughs> I eagerly anticipate your nudge. Also, also didn't realise that you could do this. Oh, no. Oh, it's like the Matrix. Give me my arms back. Come on. We can do it. There we go. Isn't that satisfying? I didn't realise you could do that until Norb started punching it and broke the mirror in my lobby. This is the level of immersion and pet attention to detail that I'm talking about in this game. It's all... These are all thankless. Thankless. Thank you, Bob. These are all thankless tasks in the... VR world. Huh. Oh, you bugger. Why is that not... Oh, dear. Uh, yeah, yeah. Give me a sec. <clears throat> I have to do the Sarah cleaning technique. Possibly. Hopefully. Otherwise, this could be a particularly short stream. Should be all right. Battery nudge. Why is that not going on? Oh, no. Okay, so you know how we've got like proper widescreen and there should be like a stream improvement and so on to 
do that, I have to disconnect the power factory and plug it into my PC one time, and then I can make it go wireless. Yeah, might have forgotten to plug it back in. But, you know, it. The, these are the things and stuff that happens when you try to learn new things as an old dog. So, yeah, let's just carry on. Pretend that I did put it in. <clears throat> pretend, pretend, pretend. So, here's another one where you can get out of the level. Or at least make your opponent feel like a fool until she can get up. Isn't that right, K2? Here, you must first defeat me. So, it wasn't the Sarah Clayton technique, though. It was another one. Uh oh. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, don't tell me he's tried to take this one out as well. No, oh, he might have done. Should be able to use my secret technique to get up, though. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. And... Yups. It's not going to work. I'll be with you in a minute. I aren't doing it. Oop. Oop. No. Uh, uh, maybe I'll just put you on your ass a second. You're having a hell of a time there, aren't you? Note how her eyes were closed through most of that fight, and the reason being is I'd managed to luckily get a, a little strike to the eye, and so her eyes will open again. It has a little bit of an effect on the computer when you do these things. It's more the increased damage that I'm after. What it does to your multiplayer opponent is it narrows their vision for a couple of seconds. I love stuff like that in VR, stuff that messes with you. There we go! I win. Eyes do do funky things. Now, again, we can have a little run around here if we wanted to. Part of the reason, obviously, why you know doesn't want us up here is because you don't need to put anything back here because you shouldn't be able to get up here. Possibly. Possibly. So, because Ben's spent time moving things around so that I can't get up with a jump from here is a problem. No longer. And so I can travel the lengths and breadths of the level if I want to. But just like, this is uh, I call it jank. Ben calls it jank. We both understand that the word jank is has negative connotations as far as the American audience. Jank equals bad. As far as English is concerned, jank does very much equal good. However, we will turn and change, the, we both agreed, to change the word jank to charm. Games don't allow you to do these little bits and pieces anymore. Games don't have cheap menus in them anymore. Oh, that hurt, didn't it? That hurt. 21%'s worth of hurt. What's your technique? Would make me a bit of a janker. Not wrong. Might get some of that janker's whiplash. It's a similar condition to what Indy has. <laughs> the slow time that comes in when you get particularly powerful hits and send your opponent away is to basically... Hey, Chi. Tur is basically to, I think it's a design system within play to stop you just absolutely wailing on your opponent and at least make sure that there's some kind of break. <laughs> Jank is crap. Yeah, wouldn't be the first time I've had that. Won't be the last. I do appreciate the, the fact as well that I can hear her breathing. Now what that means is if I had my life bar, 
like in good, most good beat em up games, if you take a particularly large amount of life, you, uh, get dealt a particularly large amount of damage, you can recover some of it, and it's usually a slightly darker bar within your life bar, and then it slowly comes back up. I've seen that a lot in boxing games and like UFC games and everything, but it's also obviously in like your Street Fighters. This has the same thing. You can tell when your opponent is doing that because they are breathing heavy. Which means that you've put particularly nasty or good strikes in. Stop it with the chi. This is one of the ways that you can end the fight quite quickly. Uh, excuse you. Damn, missed. <laughs> okay, let's have another giveaway, shall we? So, let's have some karate uniforms in the chat. If you would like to win a copy of the awesome Dragon Fist VR Kung Fu. Ugh, you have until... I have a drink, have a little smoky, and then finish another fight. So, if you'd like to win a copy of the game, for and these are Quest 3 keys as well, because we only do it native on this channel. What I was saying earlier as well is the PC VR version of this, because you can have the sort of um, lighthouse set up as far as the tracking is concerned, outside in as opposed to inside out then it can actually track your leg movements with various attachments and if you have those you can then do that now i'd love to have that within this game oh what with the smoke no no uh i call my vapey thing a smoky hey look it could be worse i could be smoking smoking so this is a, um, I don't know. I get the impression that vaping is, I'm not going to say healthier, but it's better for you, I would have thought. You know, there's no real carcinogens. Well, there are no carcinogens within, um, within the old vaping side of things. You know, I still don't agree with kids doing it. I use it instead of cigarettes. Try to, at the very least. Hmm. But knowing my luck, all the preparation that I've done to be a survivor in the zombie apocalypse wasteland, I mean, if vaping, if vaping turns out to be the thing that turns me into patient zero as far as the zombie virus is going to be concerned, I'm going to be so pissed off. I'm going to be really pissed off. Anyway, bamboo forest. <laughs> I mean, hopefully it's more of a, a more of a T-virus, ultra strainy side of things. You know, I'll have one of those big old eyeballs out of my massive left arm <clears throat> that I got from In Death Unchained. Uh. Oh. Hmm. Fanlin or ladies' night. Man with a moustache, two ladies in hats. So, um, it depends. I don't think vaping's worse. But again, you know, depends on who you talk to. So, one of the things that this level has, is again, something that I've covered in the shorts that we've been doing, is... I hope not. No, don't say that, Chris. So... One of the things that you can do is you can play the various mini games within the game. There's like a punch pad, there's a Wing Chun dummy mini game, and there's also throwing knives. Now, you might be thinking, but why would you limit yourself to just throwing the knives at targets? Surely you are throwing the knives at targets for training to throw them at, oh, I don't know, girls with hats? And you'd be right. Oh, that breaks them. Oh, they get rid of them. Leave now or never leave. I will leave, but I'll be right back. There you go. Something new I've learned. Don't start the fight with the knives. So now, throwing in VR is pretty jank. We know this. Except for Von. Von seems to be able to pull it off all the time. Oh dear. <laughs> Sorry. Not Sorry. But you can actually do damage to your opponent. And there's lots of knives here. So 
so one of the things that the previous version of this game had was a weapons mode. And I know that that didn't make it to the latest... The, the latest update when it came across to the quest version. Damn, that's more like the uh, throw-in that I normally do. The thing is, you can only use them, or you used to be able to. Ooh. No. Oh, go, go down. Thank you. You can only use them for throwing, not for fighting. Uh, I took a lot of damage there. She knows it. <laughs> Look out! Behind you! Oh, she didn't fall for it. I have no idea how much life I have. But it's more than you. So again, stand on one, stand away from the other. She'll get up. She won't be able to because I'm supposed to move away. Not happening. <laughs> the problem is, against harder opponents, it only gives you a marginal advantage because if you're not moving in this game, you're usually dead. Ow. Oh. I shouldn't have dicked around with the knives, should I? Oh well, gives lots of people. So remember, karate uniform emojis in the chat if you would like to win a copy of the game. If you haven't already, or don't already own, this fantastic people. That really hurt. Ow. Hold on a second. I... Hello, Slayer. Hang on. It's not working. Do I have to... Do I now have to play with a knife in my brain? <laughs> oh, dear. <sighs> Well, that's not happened before. Good throw, ladies. Von worthy, that one was. That's, uh... <laughs> hey, you were supposed to hit the other guy. I've got a splitting headache. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Hello, V. <laughs> uh, in the middle of a uh, giveaway, if you want to jump in, Fee. What's that? Ha <clears throat> <laughs> 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 Yeah, no worries, Slain. And giveaway over. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no worries, Fee. Cool. Well, in that case, then we'll end it there. So, yeah, pick us a winner, Von. See if we can uh, get someone else a copy. Um, I'm sorry, Slay, and I don't believe in Super Chat. That's for proper content creators. I am a humble video DJ, and so uh, I don't believe in it. Right. You can show love by, uh, I don't know, doing other things. <laughs> well done, Chris. Hey, look at this. All the regulars are coming in tonight. I wonder if we can make it three for three. <laughs> Hmm. Do I want the meat or the veg? 
kind of like the idea of the veg. Oh, this guy's huge. <laughs> no, it's... um. Oh, that's okay. I don't put the... I, I don't put commercials on for the... Um, I put I take commercials off for my live streams. Yeah, no worries, dude. Uh, no, but just by watching and having premium, that's that's fine by me, mate. You're doing everything that you need to do. Thank you. So, but yeah, I turn all the adverts off during a live stream so that those who catch me live get the benefit of watching it without interruption. And then if you don't, I put the live the for the replay. I uh, put the adverts on. This guy's huge, but... Mm -hmm. Hang on a second. What does that say? When you're on the body to prevent coming up, can you still jump? Yes, you can. So, as far as being on the body is concerned, it's about... Yeah, no worries. Cheers, sir. Cheers, Lane. So, one of the... When you're on top of an opponent, it's about the distance that you are from them. You don't have to stay directly on them, but the way that the game mechanics work is when you are too close, the opponent will, won't rise. I'll try and demonstrate on uh, Mr. Timothy, the veg. Because he's me. No, he's definitely place. me. This guy's special move is a gun. <laughs> hey, he didn't need to come at me like that. Proper fisty cuffs, didn't you? The other problem as well is Mr. McCarthy says some rather uh, hate-inducing things as far as uh, the Chinese are concerned. But you won't, will you? <laughs> so, no, here you go, Buck. So, this is basically the, the simplicity of the mechanic. And yes, you can, you can kick them whilst they're down. I can probably kick him out of the ring, but it might. It is an orb, isn't it? So... If you are too close to your opponent when they go down, it will prompt you to move away. So, I mean, yeah, you could do a, uh, you could do a jump, stompy sort of kick. Yeah. Just got to time it right and look down. Mm, that should have been it. There we go. Nice little groin kick. Don't forget to restomp that groin, everyone. Right, so. If you are too close to an opponent, you will be prompted to move away. In when you have multiple opponents, if you stay kind of within... You'll see how far away I need to be. If you stay about within a no, distance of them... Hey, no, can't it? Showing me up. Wow, he really came out of that corner swing, and I have no idea how much life I've got left, but I think I took quite a bit of damage. It's because I let him it's because I let him stay down for too long. Um, but yeah, so you don't need to stay on top of them. However, I try to stay on top of them so that you've got a bit of a marker. Because you don't exactly know how far it is you can get away before they're gonna get up. So if you stay close. He's probably got a gun! Uh, Ow! He punched me with the gun because he couldn't hit me! Hello, Chris. Ow. Get my ass kicked by Norb. Not today! <laughs> Ninja Chris. Oh, Chris! Uh, Ninja Pork, you're coming too late. We've already given away two keys. One left. One left. <clears throat> yeah, he almost kicked my ass. Let's, uh... Let's take a revisit to my little warm-up. <clears throat> on my previous warm-up. I have punched all of these pictures multiple times. They do not crack. There are no specials hidden behind them. 
However, there are specials hidden within the cracks of some of the pictures. What do you mean, locked? <gasps> oh, no! Oh, we forgot about Master. Ah. Yeah, no worries, stop. Thanks for coming in. Um, right, two seconds. That's the one thing that I forgot about Master. Once you have finished a level, you can't go back in and redo them. This is what I get for putting it on the highest difficulty, isn't it? I thought it was on the one down from that, if I'm honest. <laughs> let's uh, let's uh, carry on, shall we? Yeah, I did. Oh, I put it on master. I was supposed to put it on harder. I was supposed to do this one in my own time. <laughs> so, it's worth having a look at, I think. I mean, why wouldn't I? There's a gong there. So, you can change difficulty in this game at any time. So, obviously, that's quite an important feature for a certain other YouTuber content creator that we know. I thought I had it on harder. All opponents are on the hardest difficulty. I actually had it on master. Face opponents in any order, but only one attempt at each. So, what you win by... So, basically, you have to three-star every fight without uh, without losing which I've done this in the older version I haven't attempted it really I was going to do that in my own time but so I probably should I don't think there's any difference in the difficulty but uh, yeah. I don't think there's any difference in the difficulty between harder and master so Let's try that again, because obviously I want to be able to try and replay fights. Thanks, Vaughn. I want to be able to try and replay fights. Yep, we're good. Thank you. Yeah, seeing as I haven't had the battery technically in for since the start of the stream, but we should be okay. We turned the brightness down on this channel. And um, that's another thing. Everything's... Uh, it might have just been Hellsweeper. I thought Hellsweeper was looking particularly dark on the replay, but it might just be the atmosphere of that game. I assume everything... Well, yeah, people have said that it's looking fine, so... Right. So, in that master mode, you can't replay fights. It's basically an Iron Man mode. Um, I wish I'd known that. I probably would have tried a bit harder. <clears throat> but anyway, there you go. So, I've knocked it down one so that we can actually redo fights. There are unlocks for beating the game in normal, hard, harder. I don't think there's any modes for uh, anything for beating the game in master because that is quite a time consuming accomplishment <gasps> no no you need the keys but if you have the keys chris you can play the game chris and then you can play it with me look at this guy i blinded him <laughs> yeah i definitely would have started with my uh nerf double strike on thing <laughs> Oh, right to the groin. He don't know where he is. I don't know where he is. Oh, there you are. <laughs> so, if that wasn't a clothesline, I don't know what was. The one thing I haven't talked about on this game is just quite how satisfying those hits can feel. And how how rewarding and feedbacky it feels when you get those hits. Now, this isn't... I know other games have fighting in them, but one of the problems that I always find within VR, like, for instance, Hellsweeper, the game that I was talking about, full slow motion, right? Oh, oh, I see. Oh, I see. Is it like that, is it? We should make sure you win a copy at some point, maybe. It does. You know this game's just got multiplayer, don't you, Chris? It does sound like a challenge, doesn't it? But yeah, the hand-to-hand -hand combat, there is, in a lot of games, 
it just doesn't have the same feel, the same registration, and the same impact. Or I don't think it does, anyway, as this game does. It's also... I get quite frustrated with a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat games as well, because it just doesn't quite come together. Whereas this game concentrates on it. And so it all does come together very nicely, I find. Like games like Blade and Sorcery, the whole being able to grab hold of opponents. Now, you can't do that on this, and I'm glad you can't. I know people want grabbing mechanics in this game, but it would ruin it. It really would. Hey. Oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa! See one of these upside down? Because <clears throat> I'm doing such a large chunks of damage to him, is part of the reason why you can hear him constantly breathing. Because that's not me. In the kidney. <laughs> Can't handle. <laughs> uh, mongoose fist, more like it, Chris. <laughs> emphasis on the first part of that word so we have redeemed ourselves in the Naguchi Dojo there is one key left Chris don't count yourself out just yet son so I should have known I have I think you might have changed the way that master works slightly this is what you normally have you need to earn certain amount of stars before you can unlock certain people which then allows you to earn more stars which then allows you to unlock more things there are in proper computer game style three places that are actually locked out to us at the moment until we have earned the correct amount of stars or beaten the correct people like for instance you beat things you on here and then Beating the High Priest on here unlocks that one to go against the Dragon Master. So I don't think we'll get there tonight, but uh, yeah. So the long and short of it is there is a lot for you to do. One, two, three. Yeah, four. Did I say four? So there is a lot to do in this game. Oh, and also, sorry, Weebs, the, um, you did ask earlier about the whole sitting down, and I don't think I spoke about it. You can. You can play this sat down. I'd find it very difficult to play this game sat down, I think. But you can. But you would want to... I'd imagine you'd want some sort of stool so you can get the full range of motion. But as someone who's practiced martial arts, I can't even think about throwing a punch whilst I'm sat down. So there you go. That's the way that Chris can beat me. Instead of trying to take me on in VR, he can come around my house and punch me in the back of my head. There you go, Ninja Pork. That's the way you'll win. <sighs> Still fancy my chances, though. Right, so let's have a look at some of the... Other modes that I have been banging on about. Oh, uh, okay. Thanks, Norb. Yeah, After the Fall is... You would think that After the Fall would be something that I would be able to get some keys for, but... I have approached them, and they never get back to me, so I've kind of given up. So... Yeah, After the Falls had quite a lot of content. Or, well, it's had new stuff added to it, and I'd imagine it's had a little bit of Quest 3 love as well. So, that's kind of gives you a bit of a sampler of the main game, which we'll get back to. We... we <laughs> the way of the donkey punch. 
Uh, ah, but do you know about the brass eye? Well, actually, no, it's you. Of course you know about the brass eye. It's just the donkey punch, but with a knuckle duster. So, let's go with one of the other modes. Now, these ones are the fairly standard modes of the game, but they're variations. Realism, basically, no... Well, as you can see, no specials, no slow motion, no health bars. There are health, but you don't see it. Double Dragon is a series of 1v2 fights. Stamina is, yeah, oh no, five times health now. So that's basically like what I was doing earlier when I had uh, double punch, uh, double strike nerf off. One armed boxing, you actually get to play as one of the one armed boxers. I can't think of anything more terrible. Maybe we should have a look at that at some point. And then you've got the ability to create your own mode as well from a variety of options within all of these and from some of the single round modes within the game as well. Here you will find just a straight up single fight if you don't want to have to go and do all that faff. You've got Arcade, which is you just keep fighting until you lose. A la Street Fighter, I think you've just put a coin in. The Ninja Challenge, I will show off in just a moment. It's going to be knackering. Vertigo and Halloween Special. This one, will, if we get to play the multiplayer tonight, we'll have a look at. Vertigo, big platform, kick your opponent off or defeat them. Whatever comes first, it's a very small platform. So you're probably better off just hitting them off of here. Let's have a look at the Ninja Challenge, shall we? Ninja Challenge! So this is one of the... This Choose mode and the character. other two have scoreboards associated with them as well. Where are you? One of the things that I would say for the Ninja mode, Beggar Sue is probably the best character to play as because he is a drunk boxer and his special move, he spawns one of the drinks, which is within the game, which you can drink to restore your life. What better way to play the ninja challenge mode where it's kill as many ninjas as you can and they get more and more life the more you defeat than being able to get regular health pickups. But we're not going to go for a top score. Not tonight. Officer Lou. You're going to go for my character in his alternate silver tongue devil costume. <laughs> it's not silver tongue devil. <clears throat> Each of the characters does have a alternate within it as well. One of the things that I know Ben is going to be busy at work with, because I know the weapons mode is... Well, it was finished, so it just needs bringing up to scratch and porting to this level of thing. The is also, I believe, working on... I think this is all public knowledge. It's not something that he's told me in private. He's also working on a character creator as well. So, all I need is a cape, some horns, and an Oni mask, and I will be happy. I mean, pants maybe as well. Maybe. So, in this mode, we're going to fight an amount of ninjas. Now, I haven't played this for a little while. I was able to, last time I played it, kill 88 without dying. Again, using that Beggar Sue thing, which is why I'm probably only 47th. I was in the top 10, but it's been a while. It's been a while, hasn't it, gentlemen? Hasn't it indeed? They've also upped the numbers for the quest as well. You used to be surrounded by four. One, two, three, four. Now we have five. So he's up the count by one for us PCVR types. Uh, for us uh, quest three types, rather. PCVR, I believe, is the same, if not six. Only a ninja can stop. What about a ginger? Guess that makes me a ninja! So, this mode is cool as fuck. Because if you can play the game just a little bit, single strikes will normally down the first few waves of opponents. One of the other things that I will talk about as well is when one of the opponents is dazed in this, you don't have to finish them straight away. You can leave him, and it's a good idea to do so. The reason being... <laughs> Very good. Yes, that was Tim Minch and Vestrans. Good catch. But as you are taking opponents down, when they get starred, that is in essence then taking up a space of the five that can come at you. So if you can hit them so that they are then 
in their kind of knockout animation. Like that guy, leave him to fall, don't finish him off. That is different to how you normally play the game. Hmm, probably should. Have one of those, boys. You do get small increments of health back per ninja defeated. I should listen to my own advice, shouldn't I? Ninja! See, the, thing, the beauty of this mode as well, are, are ninjas real people? I don't think so. I don't think so. Sorry about your table. You can hit them into the spikes. I am giving my full attention to the stream. Ooh. <gasps> She's looking skimpy. I did hear the nudge. Right, okay. I was just going to finish this mode. Oh, well, you've gone a little bit PG+, plus, haven't you? Ah, my eyes! I was looking too hard! <laughs> She's blinded me. I mean, when you've got the cleavage sat out like that, I mean... <sighs> one attack. Black egg. Right, so... <laughs> Let's... See... <laughs> Let's see about giving away that last key. You have until I am defeated in this mode to get those karate uniforms in actually giving myself a breather by sprinting around the outside of the level <clears throat> so karate uniform emojis in the chat if you would like to win the final copy of the game that we have to give away tonight I am oh, careful I'm trying to have a yeah, ogling the chicks and I get a black egg to the face. Bastards. Bloody ninjas. Bloody ninjas and their female leaders. She wasn't far off. Right. Right, remember, don't look at the cleavage, don't look at the cleavage, don't look at the cleavage. Can't! Not look directly at it. I do feel like I'm very much more powerful in this mode with elbows. Elbows are particularly nasty in this mode. I don't know how well you can see a lot of what I'm doing. Oh, that one hurt though. Look at this guy. Are you even a ninja? Health check. Oh, we're doing alright. Have one of those. You'll see the colours of the ninjas. You can play this mode in cooperative as well, Kitty. You'll see as I'm defeating opponents, the colours. Hey, you don't fool me. That's not the exhale of a vapor person. No, that's a ninja. saying something about colours. Oh, I wish you could. Ooh. <laughs> Ow. I believe I might have a shuriken stuck in my knee now. My adventuring days are over. So, the colours. What the hell's going on with my arm? <clears throat> 
Here we go. Hello, says it. How we doing? Get your... Get the karate emoji in the chat. Yes, it is Ninja Horde mode. Get a karate emoji into the chat. If you would like to win a copy of this game, we have one left to give away. <sighs> what is that in my face? I don't quite know what's going on there. I think maybe when I was ogling at that woman's cleavage, I think part of my arm went into my left eye. But anyway, so what I was saying is the ninjas, these ones with the red headbands, are the weaker ninjas. They'll usually take a little love tap and they're going down. The ones with the black headbands and the ones with the various different colours will now start getting replaced with black headbands. They are a little bit more aggressive. They have a little bit more life. They take a little bit more damage from you. They fire their shurikens more often. That one went invisible for some reason. Ow. There you are. one that's invisible will visible him. Ah! ah. Spot my combo. Attacking them as they drop is also an effective technique. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, he's ready for it all then. Ow. Ooh, that could be... Note my life bar is now recovering. So if I leave that... Obviously, if the inner green bar within my life bar gets down to nothing, indicated by my heavy breathing, not mine, the characters. <clears throat> not usually mine, anyway. But by landing strikes, killing opponents, or I think it is just for kills, up to a certain amount. Yeah, that'll happen for the first few sessions, Chris, don't you worry. Don't you worry, chat. I'm just trying to get myself good and knackered for the 3v1 multiplayer that I'm sure will be coming up later. I did that by accident! <laughs> there you go. Giveaway over. Pick as a winner. I mean, my top score is still 88. I can get into the hundreds on this, I would imagine, if I play the correct character. But there you go. I hope he has. I hope he has. There we go. New best. Or... Yeah, meme best. Right. Let's have a look at something else. So, this mode, you can play in cooperative as well. Uh-huh. Excellent work, Chris. There you go. So now you can start cashing those checks that your mouth is producing. But I do believe that your body can't cash. <laughs> Q evil boss laugh. So, 
what we will do... What we will do is... I'll try and knack myself out for another 20 minutes. And then we'll get some of you guys in to come and play. So yeah, that's all as far as the keys are concerned. I'm going to do a little bit more of the single player. And then we'll play some multiplayer. Hopefully... Yeah, no worries, Buck. I mean... The three winners are all three people that I've already played with previously. So, I'm quite happy for all three of you to come and do a 3v1 against me, if you like. If you can coordinate that. <clears throat> so. I'll try and get myself good and knackered. <laughs> it won't make any difference. And then, uh, yeah. If I can get the winners in to come and have a couple of games with me, and then I'll get the regulars in maybe later on for a little bit. Hmm. Uh oh, well, you need to get the Discord. Get the key first, Chris. Get the game, and then... Oh, uh, as far as the multiplayer is concerned, I'll let you know when you set it up, but it's as simple as go on to multiplayer. Moore's going to be cursing me in a minute if I use him as an example. It is as simple as you go on to multiplayer, you change the region to the region that I'm going to tell you, and obviously with... Uh, two of the three winners being in the EU and me being in the EU probably be best off being in the EU. So we'll put it as European servers, then I'll create a server with a password, I'll give that password out to you and then you guys can jump in. We can actually have more than four people in as well, but you can only have four fighting at a time, be it all for all or all v all or 2v2 or you can even watch each other play the cooperative mode so it's one of the things that i do really appreciate on this is because there's not a lot of games out there where it's physical but not everybody has to be involved the mode that he has set up here is kind of what i think broken edge needs if i am honest let's go yeah no worries buck all in good time, my friend. Has said part of the reason why I'm trying to give away keys for these is so that uh, in in a roundabouts where you guys are doing me a favour. This is why I don't ask for the various like super chats. That's why I don't even put it on, so it can't ever be a thing. You guys are doing me a favour by grabbing these keys and then coming in and playing the games with me because I'm obviously get easy live streams out of them. Because uh, yeah. Why spend 30 hours on a video when a live stream will get just as many views, right? <clears throat> and this is over and done with, as opposed to, you know, and a good workout. I don't think you're as tough as you think you are. So, yeah, and as I said, this is one of the games that I want to try and make as one of the ones that we regularly rotate through with, like with Dungeons of Eternity and Onward. I've been doing a lot of Onward recently because that game's amazing and frustrating. And lots of people already have it, so it's an easy choice. We will circle back around to Dungeons of Eternity when... When we have the new content, which may be sooner than we think. I haven't seen anything on the beta channels yet. Even when I have, I suppose I can't really talk about it, but I suppose I can say there is. It does say that the beta testing is going to be coming that. through. Yeah, it does It does have one coming, and I know what's coming in it is just not in the beta testing stages yet. So... Yeah, no worries, Norp. Um, I mean, we'll see. I was just going to do a couple more fights, take us up to sort of like 10 o'clock my time and then start collecting everybody up on the multiplayer side of things. Isn't that right? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, so we should have a pretty good idea. I mean, usually with Dungeons of Eternity, I mean, obviously, you know, they don't have really a track record at the moment because they've only had the two updates or the two major updates. The Christmas one and one was a bit of a, a little bit of an overhaul on certain systems. Yeah, no worries, Weeble. Oh, that's a, that is a good point, Weebs. Stealthy battery reminder. Better change mine. At least it's actually fucking plugged in this time, eh? Is that one dead? Nope, that one's good. That one go in there. This one can go in here. <clears throat> but yeah, usually from when they... Yeah, two-handed swords are going to be great, but we have to give... I have to give up my bow! I have Come to on. give up my bow. Shut Don't up! Shy. Th this... This is you! Okay, maybe we'll start. This is you. See? Don't tell me. Boards. Don't fight back. What about marble? <laughs> so, normally with the Dungeons of Eternity, from announcement to actual release, is... You <laughs> no worries, Von. I've just changed it over now. So... One of the, as far as Dungeons & Dragons is concerned, it's usually about a couple of weeks from announcement, two to three weeks from announcement to actual out time. So, yeah, we could have new content before we know it. And so, of course, we'll be doing a multiplayer, chatty, live streamy sort of thing on that day. And I'll try and play as little of the content as possible, maybe just enough to get some of the things and just get a bit of an idea so I can do the whole epic discovery journey with you guys. There's like 25 new chambers, there's some new traps and new trap rooms. Oh, I thought you were going to come forward then and get chopped in the face. Not today. So, one of the things that you might not see me doing, and I highly advise it, is making sure that you are changing your hand postures. I do a lot of chops, and also a lot of this move, because it's a good one to catch the eyes. As far as your opponent, and like a... You can usually get throat strikes as far as these. I like the trap rooms. Oh, yes, uh, there's a, a new level of difficulty in it as well, isn't there? Yeah, it's a level 7 level of difficulty. And in that level 7 level of difficulty, there is no second chance. So if you go down, you are out. This I like. This is... Because it leads to failure. And everyone loves watching failure, right? Mm -hmm. Don't worry, everyone. I'm just knackering myself out for the newbies. Oh, okay, so... <clears throat> so, you have point by holding the grips. You can do these, like... I can't remember the... Kui Gong, Kui, Kui Chang, something like that. You can... I mean, it is actually a move. They do it in Shaolin Kung Fu. But, yeah. So, you can do this one as well just by holding the triggers. Grip and triggers will give you your fists. Holding your hands obviously out like this will give you your palm strike some characters when you go for a normal palm strike it turns into a claw so that is just controller out facing outwards and then that's what gives you the claw but it's only certain characters basically if the character has glasses mustache or you know looks genuinely or generally evil then they're usually able to rake people's eyes out as a general rule. Like, for instance, Ting An, I think, is a good guy. Maybe? So. Okay. Yeah. Let's fight. Right? You've had one too many. Should I go up there? No, we've already done that. Ooh. Looks like a oh, Hungar fighter. Oh, that parting hasn't worked out for you, has it? Let's have a... Let's have, what have you done there with you? 
Yeah, you haven't combed that over enough, or you've combed it too much, I think. Never mind. Oh, that leg's not looking healthy. So, finished. there are some turn. other dishonourable techniques that I am aware of as well. I'll show you one of them in just a moment. If you are struggling with a single player, or just want to be a... Now, I mean, I do the claw fist. So, one of the things that you can do, as I said, if you get too close, it asks you to move away. If you get far enough away and then quickly move back in, <laughs> you can get a pretty decent hit in. That's, that was 40% of his life as he's standing back up defenseless. Uh, don't look at the... the, 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 the. Oh. I do love it when you hit them like that and they slide across the ground. It is kind of like when you hit those shots on abominations and knights in IDU and they just cartwheel off into the shadow realm. It's so good. <sighs> so let's just push on. <laughs> ah, well, I have VR lenses, so I don't know what that makes me. I don't know. You judge me. Don't don't judge me in this game. No, no, no. Judge me in my Walking Dead Saints and Sinners gameplay. Mm. Yeah, Dungeons is, uh, is a really good game. The only problem that I have with Dungeons is I've played it to death and I need more. We, uh, me and the little group that I usually play with, or a handful of players that I play with, Vaughn and Mr. Holland and and Sarah and Mr. Fish and a couple of others, we played that game pretty much non-stop for about two weeks, possibly even longer. We must have put a good 100 hours in to get to level 50. That's the other thing they're doing as well. They are raising... Forgive raising me the level what cap is about to happen. as well. You leave me no so. choice. Oh, old school mirror match. Hold on. Should we go and play? Should we go and play the drums together? You don't have to. I can answer the quest three thing. The you don't have to buy the games again, but you do have to re-download them. Those that have the save in the cloud you are fine others however the the trans the the content won't transfer over so for instance it's usually the older games where the the cloud side of things doesn't come across so for instance games that i know that don't transfer over and there's still a way around it you can save your file and bring them across um until you fall doesn't have a cloud save system Walking Dead did, Saints and Sinners, and that one is a very old game. I know In Death Unchained does as well. Cosmo Dread didn't when I went from... I think it was when I went from Quest 2 to Quest 3, I lost my save. So, as a general rule, probably about 95% of games will just come straight across. Some even say that they save on cloud, but don't, unfortunately. That if you... If you've gone from Quest 1 to Quest 2, as I have, and lost saves, back those games up. A lot of games, you can back the save game up and then restore it. It is no different. Uh, no, Dungeons of Eternity will come across. That much I can tell you, because a lot of us here started out on the Quest 2 and then got it on the Quest 3. Any, I, would, I would go as far as to say any game that is on the Meta Store now... Oh, there you go. There's another one. Oh, that's annoying. I was quite... I was, well, yeah, I started playing Star Wars Galaxy and I was reasonably far into that. Um, I'd imagine probably Star Wars Vader doesn't... Or Vader Immortal or what have you probably doesn't either. But there will be a handful of games that don't. Uh, ooh. Dragon Fist did. But with this latest upgrade, 
I believe I lost all of my progress. Uh, no, you won't have to find the lost balls. I had all of mine. All oh, two of them. You are definitely having the better of me, sir. Oh. <laughs> no, he's not. I remember what the, one of this guy's main moves. He kind of goes low and then goes high. And you can catch him in the face. If you time it right. Go on. Do it for the folks at home. That one. Oh, he hit me in the knee. Adventuring day's over. Strange, I let Von find mine. <laughs> Von's really good. If you ever catch her in a game of um, walkabout mini golf, she knows where every ball is. And most of the clues, I think, as well. Stop trying to impersonate me. We work. Silver, not green. Silver. Whoa, 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 whoa! I found a new way to play the drums! That's how you, uh, dodge the Fatal Flying Guillotine. <laughs> Run away, and whatever you do, don't look behind you. <laughs> hey, you thought you were safe over there, didn't you? Hiya! Oh dear. Shit! <laughs> Turns out he was safe over there. Oh, I really shouldn't dick around. <laughs> so, one of the things that you can do... Oh, I should have shown it off just then, actually. Let's start that one again, and I'll show it off quickly. This is a feature that I don't think a lot of people know about, and I think it's really good. I'll get beaten on purpose here. We Turn want back. to be always trying Before to go for three-star wins, basically. And if you got your ass kicked like I just did... Why is this coming up? I thought I turned all that off. Note how I've taken some nasty hits and I've got this vignette going on. This is what happens if you don't have your hands in front of you. If he knocks me down, I can hold down the pause button as it happens, instantly abandon the fight and start again. Actually a really useful thing because it saves you having to wait for your person to stand up, hold the pause button, go to quit, go back out of this bit, and then come back in again, you can just literally hold the pause and it will instantly abandon the fight. So you can start again and go again for that three-star technique. Coming Forgive in a 30 second tips and 30 happen. ticks. You leave me no choice. Tricks things soon. Right, properly, properly. But it's all these little things that shows that like, one of the big things about this game for me is not only is the dev good at his own game, but he regularly plays his own game. Only in the playing of your own game can you understand what people are asking for or what people want or need. I get the impression... Oh no, I know what it feels like. I get the impression that quite a lot of devs that's super bright, don't actually play their own game anymore. There was a time when they used to, but I don't think they do anymore. And it's part of the reason why I think super bright are quite as out of touch as they are. Like, for instance, the guys at Dungeons of Eternity. I know they play their own game. Ben plays his own game. I see him doing it. And I think it's an important thing. The one thing that I will say is... 
I can imagine if I made games and you were playing the same game over and over again and fiddling about with it and it becomes work, the last thing that you would want to do is play your own game. But it's still very important. Isn't that right, Bindi Badgie? No. Ah, I can't hit him. Ah, there was time when you used to easily be able to get near your opponent whilst they're on the floor. Ben's put a thing in to stop you doing that, I think, which... Well, you can kind of get you slapping, but you have to try real hard. Oh, that really hurt you. Oh, look at that. Four hits, 80%. What is going on? I'll show you. Look out behind you. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why am I so good at d dodging your Fatal Flying Guillotine? Is it because I loot use my own? No. It's because it's actually quite a good feature and a big feature within the zombie mode within this. If you stray outside the boundaries in the zombie mode, it spawns a Fatal Flying hey, Guillotine now, to come after you. Can. But if you can dodge it well enough, you can use it against the zombies. If I could dodge his well enough, I could use it against him, but it's quite difficult because there's only one of him. So, one of the things I have been asked on this game, and this will help those of you who have bought it, I insist you put a mat, a small mat of some description, for someone like Ninja Pork, a Magic the Gathering mat will do, or a mouse pad, or a, mouse, a little mouse mat, or some bit of material in the middle of your floor that has some sort of... some sort of non-slip material on it so that it goes on your floor and keep one foot on that at all times and keep it in the center of your room that way regardless of whether you have your boundary up or not you will never stray close enough to your wall to hit it that was a kidney shot by the way you loved it didn't you Right. What time is it? Kept it going long enough. I think I have two hours. That should knacker me out ready for multiplayer, right? Right. Who can keep this pace up for two hours and then go and fight three people by himself? It's impossible. Absolutely impossible. Right. Those who won the keys, I will give you first refusal uh, if you would like to come and have a look at the multiplayer with me. Multiplayer gone. So, yeah, Power Up Your Tets. Get the game downloaded if you haven't already. In fact, actually, I'll wait until I've heard something back from people to say that you're ready. I'll carry on exhausting myself. Hmm. Nice long slow fight. You. Cool. Oh, in that case, if you're ready, Chris, I'll jump in now and then we can uh, have, a, have a chat whilst we're waiting for the others. And if needs be, I'll just show you some cool stuff as opposed to chop socky and we can save that for another time. Right, better hit the multiplayer gong. I mean, I've got to find some use for it. It's so cool. Again, I've said it before and I'll say it again. It's those little little bits of attention to detail. There's no reward. Uh, yeah, if you want to, Norb. Um, probably won't have a chance to do the 3v1 thingy. But if you want to jump in just to piss around, yeah, sure. This way I can at least show the multiplayer off. Um, and the thing is, if you're ready, Norb, yes, please. So, right, so... Listen very carefully. I shall say this only once. No, that doesn't really sound like me, does it? So, go into multiplayer. Yeah, no worries. Um, 
No worries. Uh, fuck. As I said, if you don't, we're probably going to be on for another hour. So, and it's not just going to be me playing. I'll do some watching as well. Uh, no worries, Scatman. Cheers, dude. See you later. So, change your server region to Europe. Because that's where I'm going to be setting it up. Not India, or USA West, or Asia, or Japan. No, no. Europe. So, and then I'm going to set up a private game. And the password, the room password, shall be CHOP. So, what you want to do then in that circumstance is you want to hit private game and put the room password in and then you will enter the same room as me. So by me doing this, I have set the room up and now those who put it on Europe and put in the password CHOP will be able to join. I was... I was going to put in STD, but I, I thought that was I'd probably get <laughs> I'd probably get demonetized or something. So right, uh, so it's costume, lovely. So yeah, you are now able to join me if you want to. Oh, what I will have to do also. Uh, 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 uh. I think some are yes. Oh, did I? Maybe I didn't. I thought I did. Notification. Mute microphone. No, I did turn it back on because it wasn't that. Microphone. That's muted. That's not. Happy days. Cool. Because, you know, if people are coming in, I want to be able to hear them, right? Right. I'll, uh, I'll wait here for people to join me then, I guess. So, yeah. When you're ready, jump on in. Um, I think Chris, Norb, and... Someone else... Have you not just seen the performance that I've put on for two hours, Von? Okay, well, maybe you're saying that because you did. So, this is the multiplayer lobby. Within the multiplayer lobby, you there's lots of bits and pieces to do. Eh, uh, that's Chris. Eh, uh, signalled by the, the coming of the crows. <laughs> so, hello, mate. How are you doing? So... Hello. There are lots of bits and pieces that you can do in the multiplayer lobby. You can do the whole parkour thing. There is two golden lions within this mode. One of them is up there during the day. One of them is here during the night. I've said as much in one of my videos. If you are looking for the last two on the game, they're in the multiplayer lobby. You can see that one's up there, and you basically have to go along all of these logs onto that, onto these platforms, and onto there. And it's a lot more bloody difficult than it looks. But we'll we'll give it one shot, and then we'll go and say a proper hello to Chris. And hello. that looks like Norb. Hello, Norb. Yeah, no worries. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no worries, Chris. Uh, I look forward to making you eat those words and my fist. Oh, no. To be fair, Norb was going to shoot me anyway, so it's probably just as well I failed. Oh, yep, your aim is as, your aim is as good as can CPU. CPU, Mr. Whatever his name is. So, as you can see, then. Hey, Chris. Sorry. How you, how you doing? <laughs> Smashing things. <laughs> so, yeah. So, we have one of our winners. So, Norb, he's one of my moderators, so he'll do all moderate things, like, you know, setting himself on fire and such. Um, Chris is one of our winners and a, a regular on the channel. He plays games with me and stuff. And I think we are just waiting for one other. Uh, who else was it? Oh, oh K2. Uh, the password is CHOP. It's always been CHOP. So we have the ability right now, if we have more than two players, we can go into a free-for-all. We can go into team fights. We can go into the arcade mode. Three at once. Hang on. Hang on. Three at once. That might, Have you actually played that yet, Norb? Huh? <laughs> ah, 
You sound like you've got one of those whirly whistly things. Um, no, have you actually played the arcade mode in this? It says. No, I'm multiplayer. It says up to three at once, so I wonder if that's three v three. Two to eight players. Maybe we'll have a look at that. Um, and we've got the Halloween special as well. Yeah, cheers, Chris. Oops, see you later. We've got the versus game modes as well. So you have single fight, arcade, and vertigo. And then you have... The cooperative side of things. Where you can begin a brand new campaign with somebody and play through it. You've also got arcade mode, vertigo. That would be difficult in four players up on the, that bloody platform. No, thank you. You can play the Ninja Challenge in cooperative. And then you've also got the Halloween special as well, which we'll show off. And one of the other things that's cool to know is that the dev of this game is constantly adding and bringing new things. So as I've said previously, there is a weapon mode to come into this game. And I'd imagine that will be in the multiplayer as well. And there are there is character creation within this as well. You can do the punch bag game within here. Wow. No, you carry on. You carry on, Chris. It looks like amazing training, but just remember, bags don't fight back. Um, we also have the Wing Chun dummy over here as well. I don't think your scores are recorded in the multiplayer side of things because you can multiple of you could be doing the the like you can punch these as well you should be able to punch yeah so this is why these are not recorded because you could completely game the system yeah look see eat that eat that wood man <laughs> the best use of a pistol is shooting a wooden man so but yeah the there are leaderboards for all of these bits and pieces as well and you can access them within the single player hey kim Hi. right so uh me and kim will demonstrate a very special technique so let's just don't ah. wait, wait 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 don't do it yet okay so norb show me how far you can jump what i want you to do um, Chris, if you could move out of the way. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Listen to the rules. God, I can tell you're so young. Come stand by me. Right, listen to the rules. I want you to run at the steps and jump as far as you can. Wait, like this. So I can get this far. Okay, okay that's pretty far. Now, stand on the steps. And just jump as far as you can. Awesome. I win this round. Now, uh, who could I trust to beat Norb in a stand-up jumping? You are such a bad person to do examples with, Norb. You are such a child. I know. <laughs> right. Careful, Chris. I think you might be inside one of the rocks behind you. <laughs> so, right. So... Now try and beat Kim in a standing jump. This is for me to go 2-1 up. So, uh, Norb, stand here. Jump as far as you can, just normally. Kim, you stand on the... Stand on the... Make use of the space. There you go. Am I jumping You're jumping normal? forward, like I've shown you. Oh, I'm not doing it normal. No, you're not doing it normal. You're doing it million dollar man style. <laughs> <laughs> it just needs the <laughs> Would you like to learn how, Norb? So That's No, that's not it Note how we're not moving when we're doing it either So what you need to do Take your Index Whatever this bit is Your index finger, isn't it? Index finger Place it across onto the B button on your other control pad. And then you simply need to press forward on both controllers at the same time. So both joysticks and dash. Do that all together. And it looks... Oh, look at that. Chris has got it first time. And if you hold jump, you carry on. 
Oh, excellent. Chris gets it first time. And Norb looks like he's got to. it too. Well done. Now, how is that practical? Because you can do it in other directions. And I could, like, take your best shot, Norb. And I'm on you! <laughs> but yeah, so if you, when you do it, if you hold just the jump button, you will continue to jump. I think you have to hold forward as well. Nope, just jump. And the whole point of it is you are getting the speed of the dash tied in with the jump. Because you can't go that fast normally. So it is a reasonably precise but so there you go. Super secret techniques. Oh, I don't I don't think Chris did it right there. <laughs> and then doing it backwards is actually where it's practical because you can make space up between you and your opponent. And you can also go left and right as well. And the beauty of this is you can make a vast distance up on your opponents whilst you're fighting without actually using much of your stamina other than a little bit of your <laughs> You having fun in the water there, Kim? Right, on, right. That's enough teachy teachy. Let's play the gamey gamey. So, um, Kim, did I hear you say you wanted to have a look at the ninja mode? Yeah, that's, that was cool. Ninja challenge. So, in this mode, two of us spectate. Um, yeah, Norb, do you want to jump out? Um, Change from spectate. There you go. And then I'll do the same. This all works on a rotation system. So as we decide to oh. spectate and such. And now off you go, guys. All you need to do is stand on the platform. Ah, so notice how they've reduced the number of ninjas that you're up against. You can only have four on screen because there's an extra player. Careful, oh. there's a lot of them, Kim. There's a lot of them. That dude was too weird. Yeah, I know, right? I saw that too. So, there is going to be a little bit of an argument on the spectating side of things that occasionally, because of how the netcode works within this, certain things won't register or won't happen. Oh, look at the comboing going on here. No, no, don't kick Chris. That didn't look like a friendly he kick, like Kim. He's on your side. Kick the ninjas. I, didn't... I mean, it looked like he did. And so you and a friend can play this by yourselves, but you can also have people watching you whilst they recover their stamina, ready to destroy you, whichever way that would be. Me and Norb can also wow, distract Chris them is really getting after it. by shooting them or the ninjas. I believe they can see these little flashes of light as we shoot them. I'll blind this guy. There we go. I'm I'm just trying to blind Kim. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Does it actually... I can't remember if we discovered that or not last time. Does it actually blind them? I can't remember. Oh, I always have to breathing heavily. And so, as you can see, this is very much... It's one of the features that I do miss from a lot of multiplayer games. And now that we have the power of the Quest 3, 3 I don't see why it can't be done where you can bring spectators into your multiplayer matches. Because there's always those times where you've got more than the three or four players that are allowed to play. So what are they supposed to do? Go and set up a game with somebody else? Or can they not come in and watch and rotate through? When these guys are finished, me and it's mine and Norb's turn. And then we can each of us spectate if we want to to allow somebody else to come in. And you can do this in sort of like a tournament style as well, where you could just have winner stays on and people rotate through.
I mean, come on, guys, pick up the pace. I don't see how you're going to get to 69. Jeez. <laughs> So, as I did say with the ninja mode side of things as well, what these two are doing is correct. You want to try and kill the guys as quickly as possible and then leave them dazed because they'll naturally fall over. They don't do that in the normal mode. Oh, Chris might be going down. Nope, he's good. He's good. Let's try and throw some, throw some shit in his eye. There he goes. Chris down. It's all on Kim. Uh oh, I know what that noise means. Look out for that cleavage, Kim. <laughs> It'll get you. Oh, no, Here she comes. I'm not bothered by that. Stuff. Really? Well, at least there's no. Uh, oh, she did try to black egg me then. <laughs> Just so you know, Kim, chat a chanting, go cleavage, go cleavage. Definitely not go Kim, go Kim. <laughs> and Chris, do you go into spectator mode now with us? I've got no idea. Can you, can you like point your controller and shoot with the right thumbstick? No, why'd you no, get rid I'm of the cleavage? <laughs> Very low life, Kim. Look out. Very low life. Don't walk into the back of the wall. It's got spikes on it. Hey, there he is. Uh-oh. Shoot Kim. Shoot Kim. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. If you, I don't know what the exact controls are, but I do get the impression that if you like wave your hands and wiggle the controller, you can kind of get out of the dazed thing quicker. Because sometimes if they leave you, you you can. So, right. Have you got? How do I get into spectate mode? Hello, Mr. King. Go clean. <laughs> Uh, excellent time to uh, uh, to pipe in there, uh, Mr. King. Go cleavage, indeed. Right, so oh. let's. Now that I am fully recovered, you have to go to the menu and then do spectate mode. Uh, I don't. Like... Right, hang on. If I quit this, you guys oh, okay, should all it. come it, back it, with it, me. Hang on, back to lobby. Is that returning you all to the lobby? Should do. Yeah. Excellent. So here again is another thing that I think is fantastic about this game is all of the bits and pieces uh, not spectate mode. Oh, hang on. Uh, okay. So this is the night mode that I was talking about. There we go. This is the night mode that I was talking about. So if anybody is missing the other golden dragon, it's up there on the top. So there may be, when you've gone through all the single player stuff, two dragons that you are missing and one's up there during the night and the other one is up there during the day. <laughs> Sorry, Nob. <laughs> Your face was right there. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's see if I can Three make it for four for four. As is customary, Norb will get behind the board. I'm not behind you. <laughs> um. Well, that's customary. The, Let's the, I go I with... Where's Chris? Where is Chris? Oh, there he is. He's spectating. Oh, yeah. that's uh, if you hold the pause button, hold the left thing down. Left Oculus, left Oculus button. button or left... Yeah. And then go to spectate mode and it should allow you to come in. 
Let's give me a reasonably good sized arena. I've pressed that a few times. I seem to be just stuck in spectators. Uh, it might, hang on. It might sort itself out when we come in here. Hmm. Oh, it thought about it. It thought about it. There we go. It's it's doing it now. Don't press Still anything. Spectating. If you're constantly pressing it, that's might might not be coming in, Chris. Um, oh, okay. Press it once, and then leave it. Yeah. There, leave it. It is working. You just have to wait. Oh. Uh oh. Hmm. Interesting. Um. Yeah, if I go to spectate mode, it does that. And then it just... Yeah, it should give you the ability to, when you're in spectate mode, to come back and collect a character, and then it'll say you are next to spawn. This mode can definitely have four people in it. Try it again. And you can see, you can see you're shooting things. Uh, maybe... Hang on. Maybe try leaving and coming back in again. You were just playing. Hang on, I'll kick you. Just jump, jump in again, yeah? Yeah. Bam. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, I'm oh, going. He's go oh, sorry. Yeah, there you go. He's gone. <laughs> he's going. He's gone. Right, let us... We'll wait for him to jump back in again. And then we'll go from there. Looks like I'll have to be a... Three, like, just the three of you, because I have to go. Have you got to go, Nob? Yeah, no worries. Yeah. Did anybody else want to step into the breach? Bye. Cheers, Nob. Anyone else who has the game who would like to play? Buck, I think you said you were keen. Or is it just me versus Kim? Oh, dear, Kim. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> what would be the best way to train against Kim? Maybe this inflatable object. <laughs> oh, he ruined it. <laughs> what am What am I supposed it's to just be doing? Punching it around. Straight punches. And then it just gets more violent. <laughs> the fact that he's included this. Um, I assume, Chris, you come... Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, how do... Okay. Um, oh! <laughs> Right, now that's just gone too far with the violence. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to quit this, start it back up again. Same password, same every bits and pieces. Give me a second. Okay. I'm just going to kick you mm -hmm. and then set up a new room. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'll kick those guys. As I said, the... It's not... Okay, no worries. Let me just go back to the main menu. I will set up a new lobby, the likes of which God has never seen. Um, European server, private game, and we will go instead of chop. No, no, no. We will go kick. K I C K. <laughs> Marshall was all slapped out. So remember, you're on European and go, and the password now is kick. Officer Lou. Like I just did. Oh, that's interesting to know about the kick function. There's one way if you've got that a really annoying friend that always wants to come and play with you and you don't want to play with them, just kick them from the room and they can't come back. <laughs> right. Hmm. <clears throat> If we can't get enough players, we'll go and have a look at the Halloween game, because that's quite cool. That sounds like someone's in. Uh... 
got to have that silver. Right, Kim's back. Red flower. And yeah, if you can hear us, Chris, the the new room is called. Hopefully, it doesn't register as me as the one who's kicked you and stops you from joining. That would be unfortunate. Hey, look, Kim. Well, it. Oh. oh. <laughs> Who the fuck is Who that? Who the fuck is that? Some guy daunting us. So this guy periodically oh, appears in the various levels and he'll just be standing around the place and when you look oh, at him, shit. he usually disappears. So uh, there we go. Chris is in. Lovely. Right. One more. Buck, did you say you could make it or no? Um, one more. Uh, whilst we're waiting, let's 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 go and have a look at the Halloween mode. Ooh, I love that mode. Well, Chris hasn't played it before, so Ugh. we'll introduce him. Halloween special. So, if we can get one more in, even if it's your first time, it doesn't matter. It is customary for me to go 3v1 uh, against the room and see how I do. And just for those of you who are halfway decent at the game, I have not been beaten in a 3v1 yet. So then, Chris. Oh, he's sorting out his audio. Can you can you hear us, Chris, or not? Can can you, can hear? you hear us? Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, I, I get that, King. <laughs> Kids are a real problem when it comes to VR sometimes. Um, yeah, we can't hear you then, Chris. I don't know. What's up? You haven't. You didn't mute your microphone or anything. Might just be a multiplayer thing. Never mind. Right, but you can hear us, right? Oh, you might even be able to hear me through the stream. Interesting. I haven't. Hang on. Oh. Oh, hang on. Kim, can you... You can hear me, can't you, Kim? Yes, yeah. yes. Have you, in the menu, uh, uh, just in the normal menu, next to the kick button, there is a microphone. I don't know if you've, like, muted yourself or something. Chris? Might be worth a check. I think he's trying. Yeah, yeah. You can see him in the pause menu. This is a nice feature as well that you can see. I can't punch him. Well, I can, but it doesn't register a hit. <laughs> Damn. Oh, get in there. <laughs> ah, zombie. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter if we can't hear him. We can't hear him. It's fine. All right. Talk, Chris. Yay, nay, never mind. Ah, well. Okay. Right, Chris. Right, can... There we go. Can you hear me? I can't hear you, but you can hear me, yes? Right, okay, so... The way this mode works... Okay, cool. The way this mode works... That's, as long as you can hear me, then that's ideal. Right, so... The way this game works is, we're zombies, you have to kill us as many times as you can. Each time we die, we come back a little bit stronger. Careful you don't set yourself on fire straight away, Kim. <laughs> so, we can also retreat to the Shadow Realm. Oh. 
if you step out, I should tell you, Chris, sorry. If you step outside the candles, it summons one of those. Yeah. Zombie hands out and press A. Game over. Zombie Kung Fu wins again. <laughs> so, Chris's score was one. He managed to take out one of us. And then you can swap around places if you want to. Which we shall do. Let's see how I get on as human against zombies ready oh so the beauty of this mode is the zombies don't take many hits to put down and also headshots really hurt them yeah you better run zombie you better run <laughs> This mode is all about getting behind. Your opponent. Ow! 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 <laughs> I think Kim just hit the wall. <laughs> you alright, Kim? Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah, uh-oh. Oh, I'll come and get you in a miss. Don't you think I won't? Hey! Oh, no! Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. So, I managed to get four kills. Or three kills. Wow. Three kills and then killed myself. <laughs> and so you can have up to three of you, uh, up to three zombies and a player. And, you know, it's just... It's just a bit of fun. Oh, hang on. Uh, go on, Kim. And the way to play this mode, Chris, retreat into the darkness. That's where we can live. And she can't follow us. And then what you do is you wait for your time to strike. Oh, she can follow us. But the thing is, she can't see us very well in the mist, either. Ah! Uh, don't set yourself on fire there, love! <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes! Yes! Doing a lot of that on fire. That girl is on fire. Get her, get her, get her! Oh, yes! <laughs> so, yeah, that mode's a lot of fun. <clears throat> but again, so you've got. We'll go back to the lobby. So, you've got your kind of full on cooperative experiences. You've got your. You've got your cooperative experiences, and then you've got, like, these little mini-games. Uh, why did it not take us back to the lobby? Uh, back to the lobby. There we go. So you've got these little mini-games. The other one that we can have a quick look at as well whilst we're here, because I don't think we're going to get a fourth tonight, is... Vertigo. Vertigo. And this is from... Oh, I always forget the name of the film. What's the name of the film? What the hell's going on with that? It's, um, Relentless? Ruthless? It's got Jet Li in it, and it's all about this. Or it's, this is a big element of it, so... Hmm. So, with this mode... It is as simple as you can still KO your opponent, 
but it's about knocking them off the level. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Kim! <laughs> and now it's Chris. And this is basically a winner stays on. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> he tried the jump. He tried. <laughs> and it also changes your character as well, which is interesting. Still on this platform, woman. Get off my platform. <laughs> Is my cleavage showing? No, put it away. <laughs> Are you invincible until off? No, we do have life bars. <laughs> Those are some actually really good throws. Oh, get off with you, woman! How do I get rid of these knives? <sighs> Why wouldn't you just leave my platform? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be faster oh, than no. that, Chris. <laughs> I need more of a rest. In <laughs> your. <laughs> winner! Yes! He said winner! I'm taking that as a winner. Whew. Oh, so is it the... First to five? Right. The tiger so there's another mode. Flower. There you go. These two start off this time. And then it's the first person to knock five other people off. Constantly rotating. Again. If I'm correct, <laughs> if I'm correct, you can have up to eight people. I don't know what you're doing, woman. Do you? Oops. Green serpent. <laughs> Good luck. Good lad. Hurry on me. I I can't. I'm entranced. What do I do? What do I do? You're cleavage lady. What? You're cleavage lady. You're cleavage lady. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, that was ridiculous. Master Chang. But what are you supposed to do against such cleavage? I don't know. Couldn't work it out. Couldn't solve the riddle of her body. <laughs> yeah, cool. Go for it, Vega. Jump in when ready. The we've had to change the password. The password is kick. Try and end it on a little three v one, and I'll bin you all out. And we'll probably call it there because it has been a long night. Although, I'm getting all the breathers I need. Woo! Hey. Hey there. How are you doing? Oh my god. How are you doing? <laughs> ah, compliment wow. the cleavage. Goodbye, the cleavage. <clears throat> Red flower. Oh God! <laughs> wow. I hit it's him as hard flower. as he hit me. <laughs> this one is very much about the double strikes. That's how you absolutely send people 
on this if you can make sure that you hit two of the pressure points as you do it. And also, knowing, guessing where your opponent's going to come in and advancing on them straight away is also another good technique. I'm going to have to watch this cat, aren't I, when we start playing the 3v1. I'm sorry, sir, but you're going to have to go first. I think I've had my money's worth. I think everybody else has as well. High priest. Ow. <laughs> All right. Got me. Uh -oh. One more to win, Kim. You could win here. Just saying. Go, Cleavage, go. Go, Cleavage, go. Go, Cleavage, go. Oh, he's giving it to you, and you've thrown yeah, yourself off. <laughs> Kim's the winner. Look at this. Ha! Huh, must be one of those stupid modes. <laughs> right, but Mr. Vega is going to join us. It's a shame that we can't talk to Chris. I'd imagine he's absolutely exhausted. <laughs> or maybe, oh, maybe this is part of his plan. He's muted himself so that we can't hear him breathing. That's what it is. Hey, he's checking his hands for the amount of sweat. <laughs> right, we shall just... Oh, that sounds like a Mr. Vega. Wait, no, Kim, no, no. Change to your normal character. Is this part of the tactic, is it? Must be. <laughs> you can try it if you think it'll work. Red flower. Oh, I like red flower. Hey, hey, look, I'll just, I'll just stun you into silence <laughs> with. I'll just stun you into silence with a. Hey, how are you doing? And you'll be like, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> like you did a minute ago. <laughs> it's like, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> Bam off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's the way I say it. It's that English accent, obviously. Oh. Um, I think Mr. Vega's going to come and join us. We'll have a quick little 3v1, see how I do. So, I think you might have a good chance here. Chris is very flaily. <laughs> the man of many arms. So again, I've only I've only played these guys, and everyone's fairly new to the game. But and I haven't taught them how to beat someone in a three v one yet. It's harder than you would think. I I, other than the life bar and multiple opponents, I feel like I'm going in there with a bit of an advantage, because friendly fire is on. They can hit themselves and each other or hit each other, which I can use to my advantage. So, are you, uh, uh, yeah, sorry, Vega, just so you know, I think I said I've had to change the pass. So we're on Europe, and the password is now kick. I don't know if we got that or not. Ah! Steady. But yeah, and so all the toys are in here as well for you to play with. You've got the drum. You can have a game of knives with your best cleavage friend. Or just throw the knives at them. 
one thing that is incredibly annoying while somebody is trying to make the jumps is to throw stuff at them or if you knob, shoot them. Or shoot yeah, them. Yeah, shoot them. It's really annoying. Ugh. I think I've lost my stamina. Yeah, you do have to wait for that. Um, you won't be able to see it because I think I've turned all of that off. But yeah, you, your, your stamina... In fact, actually, Ben told me that you can turn that off. Hold on. Oh, Chris has come out and come back in again. The tiger. I can hear you. Now. Hey, there he is, and we can oh, hear I can you hear too. Now. Yeah, that's What it. did you do? Oh, no. That's, that's, that's a lead. We'll come ah, fair enough. There was me thinking right, that you'd too. muted yourself because you were proper breathing. Tiger. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I've got to mute myself. Oh, I'm fucking dripping. Hey, look, there's two tigers. <laughs> Not quite the power of ten, I'm but... I'm definitely um, steaming up my Saturday. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Happens to the best of us. Hello, Vega. Hey, yep. you can hear him. Cool. Hey, Vega. Cool. Hello. Right. Um, Vega, do you want to have a little warm-up first before we begin? Um, sure. <laughs> Let's... I did want to see two at once, not that one. Hang on, sorry. Uh, sorry! <laughs> I did want to see how up to three at once. Arcade. Let's have a quick look at this. Because I haven't tried this one yet and I don't understand the wording. So... This looks like we start off with very little health. Three at a time. And then, if you guys kill me, so we know what happens, I will not defend myself. Whoa! <laughs> oh, good hit! And then All what right. I think happens is... Vega will now come in. Yeah. Awesome! Oh, okay. What a great little mode! So this is the one that you do when you have a full lobby. When you have eight people. As one person goes down, the person who goes down gets switched for someone who's waiting. And it's all versus all. But, like, for instance, here, I would be negotiating with people. <laughs> oh, Kim, the betrayal didn't work. Oh, got him anyway. Go, Kim, go! Go, Kim, go! Go, Kim, go! Go, Kim, go! <laughs> Ah, the betrayal! Oh, I see you there, Chris. I saw what you were doing. I saw what you were doing. I saw you circling round. Oh, get in there, Chris! Kill him, Vega! Kim, what are you doing? Get some blunts and punches! <laughs> Do you spawn where you're standing? No, you don't. Oh, no. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Chop. Kill me, that guy with the green hat. When I was him up on top of the platform, I couldn't see anything. <laughs> you can take VR hats off on this game. Oh, Bruce Lee there. <laughs> Shot him. Isn't it just? Woo! 
Oh. Oh no, I'm wearing a hat. Yes. Ah, this guy's got the proper claw. Look at this. Don't make me use my pinchy fingers attacks. I'm coming. I'm coming. Pinch fingers. <laughs> oh, look. Hang on. Hang on. Just, just stop. Just stop a second. Let's just have a breather. Check this out. Can you see my fingers? Yeah. That's so good. Ew, that's creepy. <laughs> what, pinchy fingers? Do you want to play as the um, cleavage girl again for Kim? Just, just a second. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Hidden punch. Just keep an eye on Kim. It's all well being gentlemen. Winner! Yes! There's a winner. There's a winner. I do like the fact that your mouth moves as well. <clears throat> blah, blah, blah. Right, everyone warm? I'm a lover. The tiger. Right. Red Officer Lou. The tiger. <sighs> Free for all. Okay. Remember, you guys, don't crowd him so we're hitting each other. Like saying it's going to make a difference. <laughs> well, I don't know what level I selected. But I'm going to assume this is the one that you wanted. Right, okay. 3v1. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, take you. I mean, that's a good technique. Reminds me of a certain somebody. So, you three versus me. Go! There's some cracking going on there. And in the plants. <laughs> oh, Chris, you just hit him fucking something stupid then. Kim, stop hitting your friends! <laughs> I know, it was an accident. May I just perform a quick battery check? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hang on a second. Don't like the bodies being upright, do you? You've actually got a hell of a lot of life left over, Kim. <laughs> it was all that... It was all that hitting of other people that you were doing.
because he's got balls and I can't get away from him. Like a swiffer what? He does. End it. Damn it. So close. See if you can pick up one of the no, <laughs> Well done. <laughs> ah, my win streak ends. I found that I couldn't dash. My um yeah. Whew. Right, well. Oh, man. It's about bloody time. <laughs> Oops. <clears throat> ah, well. We'll just have to. Hang on. We will have to start the streak again at some point, but it was very close. Next time, I'm sure I'll have them. Maybe I shouldn't stream for three hours before doing that? But yeah, and on that bombshell, we shall end it there. This has been the awesome Dragon Fist VR Kung Fu. We've given away three copies on the Quest 3, and this has all been on the Quest 3 native. I've been joined by K2 the Killer, and Faker, and Murphius. I have been Silver Tongue Devil. Good night.